how to do a brake replacement on a vehicle that's equipped with electronic parking brake motors and we're going to do it without the scan tool and without putting the vehicle in service mode so buckle up there's a couple different reasons why i like to do it the way that i'm about to do it and that's because it gives me the opportunity to check to see if there's any fluid leaking out of the back of the caliper underneath the electronic parking brake motor which a lot of people miss F1, remove the tire. This is your electronic parking brake motor. If you're gonna do it the way that I'm gonna show you how to do it, without the scan tool, without service mode, first thing you must remember is never to disconnect this plug. There's a lot of people that say, oh, you can disconnect it, send power and ground to the motor. That could be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. You could short the motor. We're not even gonna waste our time because most of you guys don't even have a power probe. And this isn't for the pros, this is for the average Joe, the guy at home who's trying to save some money. This is for him. We have the scan tool there. You could put the vehicle in service mode, but we don't need to do that. We're gonna make this as simple as possible for you guys. First step we need to do is we need to break loose the bottom bolt on the caliper. That's step one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it right up. This is your opportunity now to check for any leaks, which we don't see. This piston has come out pretty far. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do next. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna slide it off like this. And we're gonna do a quick inspection. On the other video, I had found a little bit of this but it was actually a lot more. So your next step from here is all you're gonna do is going to remove this screw and the other screw right there. First step, break it loose. All right, now that you got it broken loose, As you can see, the motor has separated, and all we're gonna do is give it a quick inspection for any leaks, which I don't see any leaks. But most importantly, you gotta check here, because I see them leaking from here quite often. This is a 2019 Chevy Equinox with 60,000 miles. The last vehicle I did, the 2017 Mini Coupe, and the second I popped off the electronic parking brake motor, I saw fluid right away. So now that we have ensured that this caliper is not leaking from the seal back here, now it's a good time to inspect the ring. And the ring looks awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with a little bit of grease to bring the seal back to life so it doesn't dry out. To me, I consider this part of the brake maintenance. This is not your typical brake job that we're used to. If it has an electronic parking brake motor, it is part of the service to inspect the back of that caliper. Now, there's going to be a lot of people who disagree with me, and that's okay. I'm not saying that if you don't take this off, you're doing it wrong. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is by doing it this way, it gives you the opportunity to check for leaks. You guys are probably asking, how do we retract the piston? Simple. Now that the parking brake motor is off of the caliper, now you can safely retract this piston. But the only way to retract this piston is to put a Torx bit in here. So now that you have the appropriate Torx socket, you're going to spin this to the, to the right. If you spin it towards me, towards the left, you're going to push the piston out. And we don't want to do that. So we're going to turn it to the right as much as we can go. And once we turn it to the right and it stops completely, that is your cue to then go ahead and push the piston back. It's going to stop. Okay, as you can see, it stopped. There's no need to use any type of electric impact tool on this. This should just be spun by hand. Now it's time to push the piston back. 
All right, so now you take your appropriate tool, and there is no need to spin this at all. Now, it's just as simple as pushing the piston back, and at the same time, while you're pushing the piston back, it's a good time to look at the back and see if there's anything leaking, which there is not. So let's continue pushing it back. And again, don't forget to take the cap off the master cylinder, just in case. All right, now that the piston has been completely seated, we're gonna do a quick leak check. No leaks, awesome. Now we're gonna straighten out the boot. Most times that doesn't happen. Sometimes it does, but it's just as easy as lifting that up a little bit, getting the air out from behind it. Let's proceed. So now's your opportunity to revitalize the seal on the parking brake motor. A little bit of grease. That way we keep it from drying out. We keep it from cracking, which would prevent any main road debris getting in. We have rejuvenated the seal. It's time to go ahead and install the parking brake motor back on. And again, because we have not disconnected this, the vehicle knows absolutely nothing. What we're doing now is putting the parking brake motor back on. And now we're gonna put our bolts back on. So now that we have finished putting the electronic parking brake motor back on, the next step is to grease the slide pin. We're gonna move this over to the side because it's ready to be installed. And now we're going to remove the pad bracket and we're gonna do the brake replacement like normal. Check our rotor. All right, next step is we wanna clean the hub. We got the bracket in. Next step is we're gonna lube the slide pin. I know that's a little much, but we're gonna wipe it down we don't want the keyboard mechanics to cry. And we're going to install our caliper with our parking brake motor already attached. Don't forget to give it a couple of wiggles up and down to get the grease going. And we're gonna do the same thing. Give it a little spin in and out. And now all you're gonna do is drop it in. So I got to tighten this down, and then when we come back, we're going to go inside of the vehicle. We're going to pump the brake pedal, just like any other normal brake job, without the electronic parking brake. And then we're going to test the functionality of the electronic parking brake. We're going to get in the vehicle. First thing you're going to do, pump the brake. What we're doing is we're pushing the piston out. It's nice and hard, so we can go ahead, start the engine. There are no parking brake messages or errors illuminated on the dash. We're going to put the electronic parking brake on. Now we're going to turn the parking brake off. Perfect. All right, let's put it back on. Parking brake back on. Parking brake set. So that's how you perform electronic parking brake motors without service mode and without the scan tool. Found this video useful. Please repost it, share it, and don't forget to like and follow us.